Disclaimer. The subject matter has been produced using AI technology and can in no way be employed as fact. The AI works on articles and blogs, so it may only be deemed as what others believe, not necessarily the editor of this video. This video is in no way intended as fact or intended to cause undue stress, only for entertainment value. This disclaimer is produced by Tony. The current GCSE syllabus is not easy to pass. It's not just about knowing the facts, but also how to apply them in practice. A good teacher will make sure that you are able to understand the information you need to know, so that when it comes to applying it in practice, you are ready to go. The best way to learn how to study for GCSE and A Levels exams is by using an online course. This is because the course will teach you exactly what you need to know, and then give you plenty of time to put this into practice. When it comes to preparing for GCSE and A Levels, there are some key things to remember. You need to be organized. For example, you will have to plan your time so that you can fit everything in. You will need to make sure that you have enough time to study for each topic. When you start off, you may find that you don't have enough time to cover all of the topics. You will need to work out how much time you have to spend on each topic. And how much time you need to spend studying for each topic. You may find that you need more time than you think you do. You will also need to be organized when it comes to writing essays. Make sure that you have everything that you need.